Um, lots of things to look forward to. 21 minutes past six, the evacuation of more than 300,000 Allied soldiers from the beaches of Dunkirk from 1945 is still regarded as one of the most successful rescue missions in history and a turning point in the Second World War. A fleet of little ships, including sailboats, trawlers and lifeboats, were used to ferry soldiers off the beaches and onto waiting Royal Navy and merchant ships. Well, 80 years on, Robin Gibson has been looking back at the miracle of Dunkirk. All along the rivers and creeks of Britain, yachtsmen and part-time sailors are kissing their wives farewell and making the knots for Dover. A true story that became a legend, arguably the greatest escape of World War II. I wish I could meet the people, the chaps who came over and picked us up because they've done, they were very brave blokes because they were mines and they had a good chance of being machine gunned as well. Atta Gazette's cameraman is on a tiny merchant ship. He is risking his life to bring you the pictures. He is on his way to Dunkirk. Crossing the channel on a trawler or a pleasure boat in 1940 to face the killing fields of the Dunkirk beaches was a test of bravery bordering on madness. They were in the thick of it for several days, some of them. So I have huge admiration for them. And I have huge admiration for the little boats because they are tiny little boats that were used to go up to the beaches uh, to get the boys off the beaches and then ferry them to the larger vessels uh, standing offshore. And so they stayed. Our ideas today come largely from recreations, dramas and films. Home. At 100 years old, John Port is one of the last left to describe what it was to spend days on that beach, then to be rescued by a scheme which the German generals could barely believe. It was a horrendous experience. Um, we were just laying on the beach, I was on the back of the head, and there was a Brighton paddle boat was there. That was burning from end to end. And another transport was loaded with our chaps, overcame a stick and the bomb dropped right amongst them in the stern. That was pretty awful. Sadly, the still surviving wooden boats aren't able to mark their 80th anniversary. But they do send a message from the past, symbolising a moment when people with their backs to the wall came together to face down disaster. <laughs>